is saying to you that if you are well perhaps you don't need a physician but if you are not well then you need him Jesus we need him we need him we need him more than ever before we need him more than we have ever thought of and so tonight I want to encourage you that come into the presence of God into his healing presence and he will touch your life he is going to touch you for his spirit is here and I want to assure you that it is the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead that dwells in you that dwells in us and guess what his word says that he will quicken our mortal bodies therefore do not lose hope I am praying for somebody who called me this evening a brother who called me this evening Evening, complaining about a waist pain pain in the lower back you know down to the waist and 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 is having mobility challenges I pray for you I don't want to mention the name because he spoke to me in confidence but I pray that as we are here in God's presence enjoying the healing rain the healing rain is going to travel into your house wherever you are here in London I pray and I declare that God's angels of healing will be dispatched right into your home and God is going to touch your body and and you are going to receive a testimony the healing rain of God is going to pour down in abundance over your house and so I pray for you and I pray that the Lord will touch your body I pray that the Lord will touch your backside receive your healing in the name of Jesus be cleansed be totally cleansed just as Jesus Christ said to those who were not well those who had infirmities that I have come so that you will receive your healing I proclaim the healing power of God over your life I proclaim the healing power of God over your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet and I declare that this evening you will be totally healed why don't you invite someone share the page share the page call someone and tell them that the healing reign of God is coming their way don't miss out on the healing reign of God thank you for the testimonies that are coming in and thank you for those who are sending good will messages I believe that the Lord himself is going to do a great and mighty thing tonight I, I, I am so grateful for my viewers tonight I'm so grateful that you are here and um, I believe that you will not be left out for the Bible tells us that the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off and so I look into your eyes and I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that as you have come into God's presence tonight expecting that he is going to touch you whatever your desire is whatever you are trusting the Lord for I pray that you receive it in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus God bless you God bless you kindly share share God bless you Janice for coming online God bless you Jane for coming online I just don't want you to be online but I just want you to share invite people to join share share invite someone as we wait in the presence of God for the next few for the next few minutes testimonies testimonies will come your way and I as 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 we relax in God's presence I want to use this opportunity also to share some testimonies that we have received got a testimony from a lady called Teresa says that the Lord has healed her of vertigo the Lord has healed her of vertigo I'm not sure what that is but I believe it's a skin condition and she said that she received her instant healing during last Thursday's broadcast this is amazing you know what God can heal instantly and God can heal through a process which means that your healing can actually go through 
a period of time and then you receive your healing but in Theresa's case she says that a condition that she's been suffering from for a very long time she received her instant healing that is amazing this is amazing friends and loved ones I want you to understand that our God is a healer our God is a healer he is a God who does not delight in the suffering and in the affliction of his children and so when he sees what you are going through he is moved with compassion the Bible says that whenever he saw the multitudes and the multitudes refers to a large number of people a number of people probably that will be difficult to number but when he saw them he did not get excited by the fact that a lot of people were following him but the bible makes us understand that he was moved with compassion he was moved with compassion i want you to understand that jesus sees the multitude of us the multitude of people who are suffering and the same jesus the same healing jesus is moved with compassion and he says that you don't have to go through that migraine he says that you don't have to go through um, um, a, a spell of miscarriages he's saying that you don't have to go through that vertigo he says that you don't have to go through that diabetes you don't have to go through that heart condition you don't have to go through the mobility issues he is saying that you don't have to go through an acute stomach ulcer he's saying that you don't have to go through your sight problems and so when he sees you in that condition he is moved with compassion tonight i want you to understand that our god is a compassionate god and because he's a compassionate god he is saying that rise up and be healed tonight i recommend the healing jesus to you it is not me I am Pastor Claw. I am just an under shepherd. I'm just a pastor in God's church, just facilitating the presence of God and 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 the word of God that can come your way to bring you hope and to bring you a, a, a reassurance of who God is and what God can do. Tonight it is not about any man. But it is about what God can do for you. And I want to recommend to you that he's a healer. Because I just read through a testimony that God has healed a lady, Theresa, who has been suffering from a condition, vertigo, for a long time. And she received her instant healing. You can receive your instant healing as well. Because it is about jumping into the healing reign of Jesus. Thank you very much, Lee, for joining us online. Thank you very much, Joseph, for joining us online. But I just want to say to you that as you dwell in God's presence tonight, let your faith rise and trust that he is able to touch. He is the one who brings hope to the hopeless. He is the one who brings health to the one who has needed it the most. And tonight, I want to encourage you, wherever you are, whichever part of the world that you may be watching from, and thank you for those who are viewing from the United States of America. Thank you for those who are joining us live from Mexico, Monterrey, Mexico. God bless you for being online. I want you to know that God's healing power knows no boundaries. He is able to do it right here in London and is able to come all the way by the same power not limited by time not limited by space he is able to come your way to meet you at the point of your need maybe you do not need physical healing but you need emotional healing because something is weighing you down you are not able to think straight you 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 have 
all forms of emotional instability. And tonight, I pray for the one who has been hallucinating, the one who has been hallucinating, the one who has been seeing images, and the one who has been hearing voices. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that the healing power of God is going to touch your mind tonight, causing you to know that he will keep him, you, and I'm speaking to you in particular. He will keep you in perfect peace if your mind is stayed on him. Therefore, turn your eyes upon Jesus and begin to focus on his word and begin to focus on his healing power, knowing that Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, he is the same today, and he remains the same forever thank you very much Gideon for joining us from the United States of America I just want you to share share this broadcast with people that you may know share with those in your contact share with your friends because you might never know who is going through a situation where they are trusting God for their healing touch and their healing power tonight God's healing reign is coming your way as we turn our attention to scripture tonight. God is going to touch your life. God is going to touch you. God has the power to touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, Pastor Walker, for joining. God bless you for taking the time to be here. It's all about what God can do. And so tonight, I encourage you to invite people, to invite friends, to invite loved ones as we go into the Word of God. God bless you, Josephine. Josephine, invite someone. Share this page at this very moment because sharing will bring somebody online and that person will be blessed. I want to encourage you to share because somebody will be blessed. I am talking about Jesus, the great physician. Jesus Christ, the great physician. Thank you for the messages that are coming in. I will share them as we go on. But for the next few minutes, I just want us to turn our attention to the scripture. I read this and I'm going to read it again because that forms the foundation of the message that I have been sharing in the last few days, Jesus Christ, the great physician. In John's Gospel, chapter 5, Jesus Christ is in Jerusalem and something happens that affects the life of somebody who had been in a situation of hopelessness. It was a situation of hopelessness First of all, because this person had been lying in the same position for 38 years. 38 years is a very long time. I don't know how long you have been suffering for, and I don't know for how long or how many years you've been going through what you're going through. But all I know is that the healing power of God knows no number of years. All he wants to do is that he wants to come your way with his mercy. Tonight, tonight, mercy cries out. Tonight, mercy comes your way. Tonight, the healing virtue of God is released over your life. And so I'm reading from John's Gospel, chapter number 5. He says that after this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went to Jerusalem. Now, there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool which is called in Hebrew Bethesda having five porches in these lay a great multitude of sick people the blind the lame and the paralyzed waiting for the moving of the water wow for an angel went down at a setting time into the pool and stirred up the water then whosoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well by whatever disease he had. Now a certain man 
was there who had an infirmity for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there in that condition for a very long time, he said to him, do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. But while I'm coming, another steps in before me. Jesus said to him, rise up, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and he walked. Is it not amazing that in the midst of the multitude, Jesus Christ was able to identify this man who's been lying at the pool of Bethesda for 38 years. You know what? There are many people around the world, many people around the world who have all forms of infirmities. And I've had a lot of questions about healing. And I've had a lot of questions about why um, I think people who are not well can be healed. I know they can be healed because I know that if I'm not well, sometimes I just, it comes to me naturally, by natural inclination, I just get up, pick up the phone, and phone my GP to book an appointment to go in so that I can be diagnosed and something can be prescribed for me. I have faith that when I go to my GP, I will receive some help. I want you to understand that by the same token, we have a man who is the great physician. He is a man who has a history of healing. The Bible that I have in my hand, the scripture chronicles many healings that took place when he dwelt here on earth. In his ministry of three years, the Bible talks about many people that were healed. And he healed them out of compassion. He came to heal the sick. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 10 verse 38 that how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with power that he went about doing good, healing the sick. And so he is a healer. And so at the center of the ministry of Jesus Christ was healing. He, was, he is a miracle working God. And the Bible is full of miracles. And I want you to understand that if we take these scriptures and we take out all the miracles, if we take this Bible and we begin to, we get a black marker or a black pen and we begin to color out, to darken all the miracles and in particular the miracles of healing in the word of God, we will be left with very little to read. I had a man of God say that, look, my Bible is important to me because it is an evidence of the miracle working power of God. He is a miracle working God. And so when Christ came, he came to affirm that God has sent him to do miracles, including healing the sick. Therefore, he goes to Jerusalem. He goes to the sheep. He walks past the sheep gate and he walks past the pool of Bethesda and he sees a multitude lying there. They are there because they had an expectation. Their expectation was that there will be a visitation and that visitation came from an angel who came to stir the waters. Tonight, I want you to understand that God is coming your way. He's coming to stir the waters. He's coming your way so that the atmosphere of healing will be released in your home. Thank you very much. If you are watching, I want to encourage you to invite people. Share, share, share. And the key word is share, share, share. Go ahead and like us. Go ahead and share the link with somebody because I believe that the words that you are hearing tonight from God's word, the Bible, it's life. 
The Bible says that Christ looked at the multitude lying and he saw this man who probably was staring intently at him. And he knew immediately that this man had been in that condition for a long time. Sometimes you don't need to open your mouth. Sometimes you don't have to say much. But God knows what you are going through. Jesus Christ knows that you have been in this situation for a long time. Jesus Christ knows that you need a touch. You may not have opened your mouth. You may not have shared with anyone what you are going through. But I want you to know that Jesus Christ, the healer, knows what you are going through. And there is someone who is listening to me tonight. I want to speak to you specifically that somebody who is very close to you has been held as a hostage. But tonight, I declare the freedom of God. That person will be released. That person will be released by the power of God. I pray for you that your faith will not fail. And as you continue to wait on God and speak to God about this situation, in that far distant place, in a country in Central Africa, I speak prophetically that there will be a release. There will be a release in the name of Jesus. Let me continue with this. So the Bible says that Christ saw the condition of a man and he knew that he had been in that state for a very long time. Maybe you are here listening to me right now and what you're going through is something that you now have just accepted and saying that well it's part of me there is no hope that's how it's been but why don't you exercise your faith and begin to trust God that he can do all things for with Christ all things are possible with man it may be impossible but for with God all things are possible tonight the healing reign of God is coming your way why don't you jump into the healing rain? The healing rain is falling down. I want to encourage you that begin to walk in the healing rain. Begin to walk in the healing rain. Let's take a moment and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. 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 Thank you, Margaret, for joining. Margaret, just invite someone. Share the page. Share the page. Share the page. Thank you, Janice, for coming online. Janice, share the page. Share the page. My good friend, Pastor Charles, is online. Pastor Charles, God bless you. And thank you for taking the time and standing with us. Why don't you join your faith with us, Pastor Charles, so that the Lord will do something miraculous. I know that you are a great man of God. I know that you have seen many miracles in your ministry. And I pray that you will receive your miracle as well. For he is an excellent God. Why don't you lift up your voice in prayer right now, wherever you are. Heavenly Father, we give you the glory. We thank you because you are the glorious God. You are the healing Jesus. You are the excellent king. You are the one who is able to visit us when we need help. When there is no one on hand to help us, you show up when we need you the most and no one is there to help us. Father, you come our way. Thank you that you are not a God who disappoints. Thank you that you keep your word. And so tonight, Father, I pray that by the same expectation, by the same expectation that the man who saw you at the pool of Bethesda had, all my viewers will lift up their eyes to you, having an expectation that you are the healing Jesus and you are able to touch them. And so I pray heavenly father for anyone under the sound of my voice, regardless of where they are, 
those who are here with me in the United Kingdom, those who are in far distant places. And Father, my heart goes out to the many around the world who are challenged and do not have access to good medical care. Thank you for those of us who live in the Western world who have access to good medical care. But Father, there are many around the world. Many cannot afford good health care. Many in the United States of America, in the projects where they are not able to access good medical care because they don't have what it takes. They do not have the insurance to be able to cover their health situation. But Father, I pray for them and I declare in the name of Jesus that the merciful God, the God who knows that you have been in that condition for that long time, the God who knows that there is no hope for them, you will become their hope tonight. I pray for them and I pray for them and I pray for them again that Father, you will stretch forth your hand for you are the healing Jesus. I pray for them and I I pray for them again that father you will lift up your hand that situations will change i pray for those who are going through emotional struggles there is someone who is listening to me tonight and i want to speak to you right now you are a young man you are a young man in your mid 30s probably about 35 years of age 35 36 but the spirit of the lord has just laid you on my heart and i just want to speak to you right now as i speak to you right now you are wearing a baseball cap you are wearing a baseball cap and i speak to you right now by the power of god that God is going to touch you for you have been cutting yourself you have been cutting yourself and there are many 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 injuries on your body as I speak to you right now because you have come to a place where you think that all hope is lost and you want to harm yourself but tonight I pray for you and I pray God's deliverance over your life I speak for deliverance in your home I speak for deliverance over your body I declare in the name of Jesus that you will rise up and as I speak to you right now I can see you just going down going down you have just sat down with your back against the wall but I pray for you and I declare in the name of Jesus that the healing power of God will come your way may you be healed from all your emotional struggles may you be healed from the disappointments that you have gone through and today I want to let you understand that during this healing rain broadcast you have an appointment with God today is your appointment with God and so I prophesy over your life that your life will never be the same again it is 838 where you are and 938 here in the United Kingdom at this very hour 38 minutes past 8 I declare that the Lord will visit you and the Lord will touch your life Share your testimony once the Lord has done it. Because I know that he reveals to redeem. He reveals to redeem. He will do it for you. He has done it for others. And he will do it for you. He has done it over and over and over and over again. And so thank God that tonight is your opportunity to receive the healing touch of God. The healing reign of God is falling down. Thank you very much, Pastor Edward, for being online. My brother, Kingsley Arthur, God bless you. Man of God, Mavis, God bless you. I want to encourage you that don't just be online, but share. We've got just about 20 minutes to sign off. And these 20 minutes can be defining for somebody's life. These 20 minutes can bring a turn around in somebody's situation. So Edward Kingsley, Margaret, Solomon, James, Jones, Tina, everybody online and the names keep going and keep coming. I want to encourage you that take just a minute and share because Jesus Christ is here jesus christ is here take a few minutes and let's listen to this from sinach that jesus christ is here he is the way maker he is turning situations around jesus christ the way maker is turning situations around and that includes your health oh jesus oh jesus Thank you that you are with somebody in their home. Thank you that you are with somebody in the car. 
thank you that you are somebody in the church thank you that you are somebody at their workplace turning lives around changing situations for you are the way maker for you are the healer jesus christ the great physician he has done it he healed someone in the last broadcast last thursday the testimony is here live he touched the life of someone you know god has done amazing things and i want you to understand that just as he called the man who had been sitting at the pool of bethesda for 38 years and asked him that do you want to be well i bring that question your way tonight and i ask you that do you want to be well so jesus christ the way maker the miracle worker the promise keeper he's here and he's going to touch you he's going to touch you he's going to heal you he's going to turn your life around thank you very much for coming online my friend richard richard god bless you richard take a moment we've got less than 20 minutes share share this broadcast with someone my good friend and brother pastor osborne thank you for joining us online it's healing rain with pastor claude here from the international praise center in london and i want to encourage you that god is a healer he has healed me he has healed people who are connected to me and i can confidently say that if there is any power that i will not doubt i cannot doubt the healing power of god he's a way maker he's a miracle worker he's a promise keeper i want you to bring somebody online as we pray in the next few minutes i'm going to pray and as i pray i know that miracles and testimonies will come your way miracles and testimonies will come your way miracles and testimonies will come your way for jesus christ is the same yesterday he's the same today he's the same forever oh jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you oh jesus we give you the glory 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 why don't you send a comment to encourage somebody send a comment to encourage somebody take time and share the broadcast if you are on instagram i want you to share share viewing on facebook viewing on instagram share send out this broadcast to people because i know that jesus christ the miracle worker he's a promise keeper he has given us a promise that he is able to heal us and whatever we may be going through i know that he is able to heal you oh may the name of the lord be praised may the name of the lord be praised thank you for the testimonies that are coming in jesus christ the healer jesus christ the healer thank you sam pierre for coming online share asabia thank you for coming online asabia i just want to speak over your life tonight and as you have joined us you may not he need physical healing but i pray that anything that is in your body that is not seen anything that is in your body that has not been discovered i pray that the lord will touch you and make you whole thank you philip for joining us all the way from north carolina philip you are a doctor and i pray that you join your faith to the many viewers and declare the healing power of god over their lives i know that he is a healer is it not amazing that we can put our faith and our trust in mortal men who are physicians mortal men who are consultants and we go to them and we we we, we trust them for healing tonight i speak over your life that that same jesus is coming your way because he is a great physician he is a miracle working god 
Maybe you are listening to me tonight and you have come to that place where you have given up. And I want to use these few minutes to speak to those who feel like giving up. Don't give up, for help is on the way. This man at the pool of Bethesda, and let me end with this from John chapter 5, as we read, he had been at the pool for 38 years. And two things kept happening. Anytime he attempted to jump into the pool, somebody would jump ahead of him. And so he never had his opportunity. Above all, he had no helper. He said to Christ that, and I have no one to help me. Perhaps you have no one to lift you up. Perhaps you have no one to help you. Perhaps you have no one to say that, let me pay for your medical expenses. Perhaps you are on the waiting list and you have been waiting tirelessly, but no hope for your situation. Nothing seems to be changing. I pray over your life tonight that the Jesus who saw the man at the pool of Bethesda and recognized immediately that he had been there for a very long time, that same Jesus knows your situation. And he knows what you've been going through. He knows that you've been going through this for three years. He knows that you've been going through this for four years. He knows that you've been in this situation for five years. And so this same Jesus is saying that, rise up and be healed. Maybe you have tried with physicians. And I believe in doctors. I encourage my viewers that spend time Take, make an appointment, visit your doctor, let them check you out, let them give you advice for one of God's channels of healing is to use our trained physicians and our trained doctors to minister to us. And so I encourage you, if you have access to a doctor, even when you feel that the Lord has touched you tonight, even after you have got a testimony, I, I encourage you to see your doctor for a confirmation about what the Lord has done. Sometimes the Lord might not touch you in a way that you would expect, but he will give your doctors the good counsel to be able to administer the appropriate medication and 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 do the appropriate diagnostic so that you you will come out of your predicament and so tonight i also want to use this opportunity to pray for anyone who is receiving help from a doctor i pray for those who are visiting the doctors and and you have an appointment i pray that the spirit of the lord will come upon them that they will do what is right. May the Lord use them as a channel of blessing to be a blessing unto you. I want you to pray for these two minutes. Wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever you are going through, I want you to pray. If you have a physical condition, you can just lay your hands on where that problem is. You could lay your hands on your head. You could lay your hands on your tummy. You could lay your hands on your shoulders, on your back, wherever. If you have any pain in your body, I pray for you right now. Pain is indeed painful. Pain is not pleasant. But the Bible says that he, has, he heals us of all our diseases and he heals us of all our pain. And so I want you to Touch whatever you may be feeling or however you may be feeling. I just want you to lay your hands on that part of your body. Trusting God for his healing touch. He's a healing Jesus. And everything, every power, everything that we are doing tonight points to him. It's not by our might. It's not by our power. But it is by the spirit of the Lord that is at work. So I encourage you to trust in his name. He's a healing Jesus. Why don't you begin to pray as I pray for you, Father? I pray for 
the many who are watching, the many who are listening to me at this point, and they have no hope. We trust in you because we have known that indeed you are the healing Jesus. Indeed, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, some trust in their own resources, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. And we trust that, Father, in this very moment, you are going to reach out your healing hand to touch the body of someone. I pray, Heavenly Father, for the one who is crying right now because they are in so much pain. I pray for the one who is trusting God for a loved one who is on admission in the hospital. I pray for someone watching from their hospital bed. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you who has given as many testimonies, you will continue to show yourself strong. Heavenly Father, I am praying that your healing rain will come upon somebody's life right now. Father, you are a healer. You are a healer. And Father, we know that that is what you do. You heal us physically, you heal us spiritually, you heal us emotionally. And so Father, we come before you tonight. And as I lift up my hands, I proclaim the healing virtue of God to go out of the studio and to come to you wherever you are. I pray that you will experience the healing power of God. May the healing power of God touch you right now. May the healing power of God th touch you right now. May the healing power of God touch you right now. And I want you to respond, Amen, wherever you are. May the healing power of God touch you right now. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I pray that the healing power of God will be released all over your life. Somebody, as I pray for you right now, you feel goose pimples all over your body. And I want to assure you that that is just an initial sign of the healing power of God breaking forth over your life. Therefore, continue in faith. And I declare in the name of Jesus that his power shall be released over your life. I pray in the name of Jesus that his power shall be released over your home. I speak over your situation and I declare that as you walk into the healing presence of God to experience a healing rain to experience God's healing rain your life will never be the same again tonight is your night tonight is your night tonight is your night I declare in the name of Jesus that you will receive his healing and his healing power shall be released over your life and turn your situation around May you be healed in the name of Jesus. May you be healed in the name of Jesus. May you be healed. Friend, if you have been listening to me for the past few minutes, my name is Pastor Claude and I am sharing the healing reign of God with you here from the International Praise Centre in East London, United Kingdom. And I'm coming your way. And I have a message for you. The message I have is that Jesus Christ is a great physician. There are physicians all over the world. There are doctors with different specialities. But my Bible tells me that Jesus Christ is a great physician. And so I want you to understand that whatever, and whatever means whatever, whoever you may be, and whatever you are going through, try Jesus and know that indeed he is a healer. God bless you for spending this time with us tonight. God bless you for being on Facebook. God bless you for being on Instagram. I just want to encourage you that continue to trust in the Lord. And tonight, I want to invite somebody who does not know the Lord. Maybe you are trusting God for healing. Maybe you have heard about his healing power and you would like the Lord to heal you. But I want to recommend this man Jesus to you. I want to recommend the person to you. He is 
a healing Jesus, but he's the one who heals us from our sins. The Bible says that he came to die for our sins. He came to bring us life so that we'll have life and have it more abundantly. The most important gift that can come your way tonight is abundant life. Jesus Christ wants to have a relationship with you. All he's saying is that I have created you in my image. But perhaps the issues of life and the affairs of this world has served as a distraction between you and your relationship with God. And so tonight all he's saying is that come to me. Come to me all ye that are broken and heavy laden and I will give you rest. Come to me all ye that are weary and I will be your helper. Come to me you sinner and I will make you my friend. Someone listening to me, I want you to take this moment to consider your relationship with Jesus Christ and pray a prayer inviting him into your heart and saying that Father, I thank you for your word. Pray this prayer after me. Father, I thank you for your word. Thank you that you love me even though I'm a sinner. Thank you that you love me. So Father, I pray that you will wash me with your blood and cleanse me from my sins. Father, I invite you into my heart and I pray that my life will never be the same again. If you have prayed that prayer, I want you to know that God has heard you and I want you to understand that your life will never be the same again. You can join a church that is near you. Find a good church to attend. If you would like to join us, you can join us here at the International Praise Center Baptist Church. International Praise Center Baptist Church can be found in East Ham in East London. The postcode is E61EN. The International Praise Center Baptist Church can be found on number 72 Catherine Road, East Ham, London E61EN. If you have a testimony, you can email your testimony to me at claudia at pastorclaude.com. Claudia at pastorclaude.com. That is C-L-A-U-D-I-A at pastorclaude.com. You can also inbox me via Facebook Messenger. You can actually send me a text message. The number is 07908192746. If you are dialing from outside of the United Kingdom, you need to put the dialing code, the international dialing code 0044 or plus. 44796 or 79081967080 God bless you for being online tonight as I sign off I just want to recommend to you this book called 31 days of inspiration 31 days of inspiration 31 days of inspiration is a book that I wrote as a devotional to inspire the body of Christ. 31 days of inspiration has 31 inspirational devotionals talking about different topics. The first one is Exhibit You and it talks about the fact that God has made you to be who you are and your relationship with God can usher you into great opportunities in the presence of God I want you to send me a message for a copy of the 31 days of inspiration or you can actually visit my website www.pastorclaude.com www pastorclaude.com and you can get a copy of the 31 days of inspiration and all the other books that are there 
if you send me a text message if you send me a text message I will send you a complimentary copy of the 31 days of inspiration if you send me a message I will send you your complimentary copy of the 31 days of inspiration and I want you to understand that if you go through a walk with God in the next 31 days reading these inspired scriptures your life will never be the same again God bless you for all those who joined us online today I want to remind you that Jesus Christ he is the miracle worker he is the lion of the tribe of Judah he is the healing Jesus and above all his healing reign never ceases just as the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases he wants to come your way with compassion he wants to heal you so make a date with me pastor Claude and the healing rain team here again same time on Thursday 9 p.m. British summer time 8 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Join us and the Lord will touch you. Your life will never be the same again. I love you and I recommend Jesus the healer to you. Good night and see you on Thursday.